We are the coffee family. We farm beef and trading cattle on about 2,500 hectares sort of on the central Queensland coast. We have two young boys, uh, Will and Sam, they're seven and ten, and um, I think they're very lucky to be out here. We were not from ag, so we, I guess we're first generation farmers if you want to put a label on it, but uh, we, 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 it was a long windy road uh, in terms of how we ended up here. Having not come from ag, I guess we didn't really have a lot of preconceived ideas as to how we should or shouldn't run things, but the satisfaction that comes from being responsible for, you know, and being stewards for, for a parcel of land and that satisfaction when you can see what the ways that you can really improve that over time is just it's a, it's a it's a pretty good way to live. I think environmental responsibility goes hand in hand with productivity in in production. You can't have one without the other. It's counterintuitive to think that you could not look after your land and then make a profit off it somehow. So um, if our land is thriving, if the soil's doing the right thing, if our pastures are good, if our cattle are happy then we don't have to worry about the bank because that side of it will sort itself out. I feel like since we've converted the property across from a tree plantation, um, it was such a sterile, it was a dark place to be. Now when you go out, the wildlife's unbelievable. We've got lots of different birds. We put goldfish in some of our troughs that we use. You know, we've, even, we've got fish in our dams, we've got eels in our dams. Um, it just seems like the country's just sort of taking a deep breath and, and it just it feels like a really nice place to be. It's pretty simple. We sleep pretty soundly knowing that we are creating a better environment around us and that we're going to leave our land in better shape than we found it. 